Alright, this video is a demonstration of um, a section of track that I use from time to time when I want to detect the speed of trains or detect the number of axles or count cars or to trigger um, crossing gates or anything like that. And I have three ways in this demonstration unit that I made. The first is, um, which is quite evident, is I have infrared LED pair emitter and detector. And what I did is, I drilled a hole in the top, in, in the rail, just below the top surface, because I didn't want to affect the, the, the wheel. And then the, the LEDs are mounted, obviously, right through, uh, to, see, to peek through the hole. And what happens here is, as a train is rolling down the track, I'll show that with a car here, it crosses and breaks the beam. And you see there's flanges on the wheel. So the flange is what's breaking the beam, not the actual wheel, the whole wheel. So that rides and it goes through and it breaks the beam. And by doing that, a, a slower moving train will create a wider break in the beam and a faster moving train will create a slower break in the beam, a slower pulse width. And I can use that to, to count axles as they pass or cars as they pass or to trigger any kind of a, a, um, accessory that I want. And it just goes to an Arduino Uno or a uh, Parallax P stamp or even a uh, Adafruit uh, trinket would work very well with this. Very low cost, eight dollar microcontroller. So that's one way I, I can detect things on a, on the train. Another way is what I've done here is I've just embedded the LED pairs at the bottom of the track facing up. And what I can do there is on the bottom of a car. I can paste uh, foil, aluminum foil or white. You know, foil works best, I believe, for the infrared. And as the train passes, it detects, it bounces back off the foil. And um, I can detect the particular car or train or whatever I want to do. You have to play games with the thresholds because some, some of these are kind of reflective in the IR underneath. But I, I, I've, I've had a lot of success with it by playing with it. So that's the second way of detecting a car. And the third way, which is probably really hard to see here, Let's see if I can get that in a little closer. All right. There we go. You can see here that I have three pieces. What I did is I hogged this out with, an, with a, a Dremel tool, and then with a piece of scrap track, I made three little pieces that went in there. And I, I isolated the three of them from the main track and from each other with, with five-minute epoxy. Now these two are isolators. They don't connect to anything. This connects to a wire, and when a, when a train wheel rolls by, the side of this wheel couples over and makes an electrical connection to the centerpiece here, making a, a, a detection signal, and I can detect that the wheel has passed by. Now I can't use this for speed control because it's noisy, because um, these train wheels are conductive. And they don't short out the middle rail, but they cut across. So this wheel will come rolling down. Now, I'm going to use my two fingers here to simulate the wheel. And when it comes down, it hits the isolator, which doesn't do anything. And then when the wheel touches the center conductor, it makes the contact, and I detect that the, um, the train has passed. But again, I can't use that for speed because it's noisy. If you were to look on an oscilloscope, you'd see the signal is bouncing all over the place, but it's enough to do a detection. The the uh, infrareds are, are a lot cleaner and I can filter those out. I could filter, filter this out too, but it, it wasn't enough. To, I tried to make a speed detector out of it. It wasn't uh, good enough because the, these wheels aren't the best conductors in the world. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you like, I can give you um, schematics. Uh, I have a GUI for this. I have all sorts of things that I can give you. You know, Please feel to write, comment, and I'll be happy to give you the schematics and the code for the Arduino or whatever. And please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.